Ron Johnson, mentor coach, life leadership coach, and we'll discuss the topic on self-esteem and self-confidence. And most of us always think that we have great self-esteem, great confidence, and we go through life thinking we have all of it, or we challenge ourselves with doing something extreme or something outside the box, say, well, that's my confidence builder. Well, the reason why self-confidence and self-esteem is very important because that is how we see success in the world. So a higher level of self-esteem, a higher level of self-confidence means a better success for yourself. Now, I'm gonna give you a quick story about myself so that we guys can understand where I'm coming from when it comes to self-esteem and self-confidence. For a lot of years, I walked through life looking at this. I think I have confidence. I know I got confidence. I hope I got confidence. And what you do is you challenge those things. It could be going up to the right girl. It can be asking your boss for a raise. It can be uh, you know, going to a party by yourself or traveling by yourself. Whatever it is, you do those things to say, well, can I do it or can I not do it? And what happens usually in those cases, it's like, not this like, what happens in most cases, we always constantly try to focus on the next high, the next benefit, but not really focus on what will make us happy. So when I went through my life for so many years, I had a self-esteem and a self-confidence issue secretly. Secretly, when I saw someone with a nice car, you know, they looked like they had money or they looked like they were on the right track, they had a great career, they had a great education, they went to Ivy League school, I was slowly, secretly to myself, very envious of these people because it's like, why can't it be me? Why can't I have that? And what promoted more self-suffering is that I always tend to think to myself, which most of us do, is when we achieve our goal, or we achieve something that someone else has, we'll feel much happier. So if someone has that great career, or has that job, or has that relationship, or that marriage, we constantly compare ourselves. Like, man, I wish I had the marriage like them. I wish I could go on vacation. And what proves to be is self-suffering. See, because at that point in time, when I was thinking about all those things, I was not living in my journey, my purpose in life. The idea was, if I got those things, I'll be happy. So when I got the car, I'll be happy. Okay, then next. I got, let's say I got the money. Okay, then what's next? I got the career. Okay, then what next? You're constantly feeling those with levels of satisfaction and happiness. And when we're doing this, we're actually comparing ourselves to other people, aligning ourselves with their own journey, not really focusing on what our journey is and what makes us happy. So what it did for me is it created more suffering and anger and resentment. Man, they have it. They must be lucky. They have what I have. They must do the right thing. They must be born lucky. They must be rich. They must have all these wonderful things I don't have. Until one day I woke up and I said to myself, wait a minute here. I read this book called Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Really old book. I suggest reading it. In that book, it really emphasized something very, very important. Anything is achievable with the right mindset backed by a specific plan of action. So you see someone has success in, let's say, career. Well, what was their action plan? How did they get there? What did they sacrifice? Most of us only look at the external attributes, not what happened behind closed doors or internal. Happiness really comes with inside being inside yourself. And that's where you retain, that's where you gain more self-confidence and self-esteem. So I'm gonna ask people out there, I have a special guest, Gloria. Gloria, how would you rank your self-esteem then followed by self-confidence? <clears throat> how would I rank it? Yeah. Um, one to 10. One to 10, my self-esteem, I would say, well, at this point of my life, I'm, I'm, so I'm, the older I got, it, it got better. I would say a six. Six, and, okay. Yeah. And then my self-confidence, I'm, I'm pretty up there now. I'd say eight. Okay. I'm not a hundred percent confident, but yes, I am kind of pretty much. So if it's self-esteem is a six and we're selling a one to ten, what would it take to get you to an eight? Um huh. I think more of it would probably just be just happy with how I look and who I am. You know, I, I, because I think at one point I feel like I've already accepted and love myself because I know I do and I have, but as a woman, we sometimes have, um, we have this moment of, you know, we're not happy with ourselves. All right. Okay. Yeah. So let's take the, let's, let's, let's talk about something for a second. So you're level six 
and you want to get to mm -hmm. level eight and it'd be your looks. So the mm -hmm. question being is that what are you comparing yourself to that would get you to a level eight? I'm going to be honest with you. Social Please. media, social, social media, media, the celebrities, you know, because when we see them, when we see a certain celebrity, let's say Jennifer Lopez, like, of course I'd want to look like her. She's freaking 50 years old and she looks, you know, she's hot. Who wouldn't want to look like her? Yeah. Okay. So the way to get to level eight is if you look like a Jennifer Lopez, as your example is. And obviously, if you got to Jennifer Lopez, you'd be much happier. Yes. Is that the yes. idea? Yes. Okay. Yes. So if you not? got to Jennifer Lopez level at 50, let's say, mm -hmm. then what? Then, yeah, you're right. I don't know. I think I'll be happy for a minute. <laughs> it's 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 See, like a um it's like on and off, you know, where one minute we feel great about ourselves. I'm talking about it's just women in general, okay? And I, I'm like that right now. So one minute I feel good, I'm walking around, I feel I feel great. Then the next minute, like I look at myself in the mirror, I'm not feeling myself. I don't feel good. Now, is it because you saw something or was it emotional feeling? What, what feelings came to your mind when all of a sudden you're feeling good, 10 minutes later, you're feeling bad? What thoughts were going through your mind? I think it's more like emotional feelings. Okay. And if you don't mind me asking, what was your emotional feelings? Um, like I feel shitty. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> If you don't mind, can you clarify what that feels like? Because I have no idea. So, God, it's so hard to explain into words. And okay. when I feel this way, and I know I'm not the only one because I share this with my friends. Um, I have a group of friends that, you know, we text every day because we check in on each other. We basically feel the same way most of the time. When we feel that, we feel... We, we don't want to do anything. We just want to sit down and lay down. You know, sometimes we want to pig out. Like we want to eat everything. Um, we feel that our clothes doesn't fit us or whatever we put on doesn't look good on us. Um, and sometimes we don't even want to look in the mirror because we just don't like the way we look. We feel ugly. We don't want to, we don't want to go out there because we don't want to walk around and I feel like, you know, like everybody, everyone around us will just irritate us, that kind of feeling. So feeling that internally, you don't feel good, you don't, you don't feel yourself. And mm -hmm. if you go outside, you get very angry because you think people are judging you by the way you look. Um, you know what? I wouldn't, for, for me personally, I don't, I don't feel that because people will judge me. I think it's me judging myself. Judge myself. Yeah. So but the idea is that you're judging yourself based upon what criteria are you judging yourself? I don't know. I just, I don't know. I, I know, I just know that I do judge myself by the way I look sometimes. Because there are times when I feel good, I feel okay. Um, you know, I could be wearing the clothes that I wear all the time, like my leggings, let's say, or shorts, how I normally dress and a shirt. There's days that I feel, I feel good. I'm going to go out there and look like this, fine. But there's days where it could be the same clothing the following week and I'm not feeling myself. So, and it's you judging yourself. And what are you judging yourself based on? The clothes or is it based on your feeling? Feeling. And what does that feeling look like for you? Feeling sometimes is feeling heavy, fat, like I've gained weight. Or the feeling of, I think sometimes too with women, feeling um, old. Oh, okay. So here, here's you see right now, the reason why you can't get to level six is because right now you're judging yourself. And thus when you judge yourself, you're creating more self-harm than good. Yeah. Because if you and have an opportunity. No, go ahead. go ahead. No, I was just gonna say the feeling is like up and down, on and off. Of course. We're human beings, right? So we're always mm -hmm. going to have up and down feelings. One minute I can go to a restaurant and feel great, next minute, blah. The sun can be outside one minute, and next minute, you know what, it's raining outside for the breast, right? Our feelings will go up and down. But if you had a conscious choice 
to feel a certain way every day, what would that look like for you? I would be very happy every day. You'd see this smile every day in my okay. face, day and night. Okay. You, you said smile, but what would visually look like? Paint a picture. Um, it'll just be like a normal, happy, go lucky kind of day for me. Like life is good, that kind of feeling. Okay. So happy, go business. lucky day. Mm -hmm. My name is so happy go lucky day. Mm -hmm. How can can't build that way every day? For you. Um how can I not? Yeah, how can it be that way every day for you? I think if I change my mindset about certain things, then it could I could make it happen. But you you're right, it's all right here. <laughs> Can you show me what the is that mindset? If you don't mind me asking. Just negative thoughts sometimes. Now, are negative thoughts in your case, because obviously negative thoughts show up and it's how you perceive the world to be. And obviously now you feel like women, you feel great, negative thoughts come up, you feel like blah. So if you had an opportunity to transition from negative thoughts to positive thoughts, what would be those positive thoughts? Um, that would be just basically not, just not judging myself and not being too hard on myself. So if we go back to the very beginning, you're a number eight, you want to be, you're number six currently. And first thing he says to Jennifer Lopez, compare yourself to her. Then now you come to, if you could live happy every day, it'll be not judging yourself. Mm -hmm. Now, self-judgment does, definitely doesn't feel well and it creates more suffering because you're judging yourself. It's like, man, I'm judging myself. Why can't I just stop doing it? Why is it happening to me? I want to think different. You know, the way to replace judgment is curiosity. Curiosity about yourself. One way to think about curiosity is if I feel a certain way, why am I feeling this way? And is it helping me? So if you're feeling judgment of yourself, one way to do this, why am I feeling judgment? And is it helping me? So if I ask you a question, is judgment helping you? What would you say? No. Okay. If judgment is not helping you, then why do you have self-judgment? I don't know. It just pops up. <laughs> it pops up in my head. And you know, a lot of the times we're really more harder on ourselves than anything else. It, it just comes up and it pops up and you're right. Um, I don't know what Jennifer Lopez had gone through. I don't know what her journey was to look like that. Yeah. And I can't say that anybody can look like that. Um, who knows? But I think it's, it's just one of those that how we create that for ourselves, make it harder for ourselves. And then there's that social media sometimes, right? I know like sometimes when I, when I feel down and like I said when I feel shitty mm -hmm. then I see that and I feel like why can't I look like that why can't you I could I guess I would have to work hard on it but I don't so <laughs> ah okay Here, here's the honest truth <laughs> so honest truth is yeah you can pair yourself to Jennifer Lopez which causes mm -hmm. self-judgment for yourself yes I asked you a question that says how come you can't look like her he says well if I worked on it do you, obviously, you don't want to work on it. So if you want to work on it, you would actually be there. Yeah. Yeah, that's think true. about that. It's true. And what's true about it for you? Um, what's true about it for me? That's a good one, too. I just, I, I don't do the work. So I need to do the work if I want to look a certain way. So you just said if you did the work, mm -hmm. you get there. If you did the work, you'd look a certain way. Yeah. Thus, if you did the work, would you be more happy? Yes. Okay. So happy. So, so you have the ability now to raise your self-confidence level by doing the work.
You said, if I want to be Jennifer Lopez, and that's my idol, that's the person you want to live up to, you said, if you just did the work, you'll get to level eight. So the idea is self-esteem, self-confidence is your own ability to control that. But usually what happens is that things around us outside, social media, friends, family, relatives, whoever, obviously attacks our self-esteem, says something that we don't like about ourselves, which lowers our self-esteem. But just by listening to you now, you have a choice to show up the way you want. You have a choice to, to success you want to have. If you want to look like Joan Lopez, you have a choice to be there. I keep saying the word choice because I want you to understand you have a choice and the choice you made is I don't want to put in the work to get there. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm guilty because yeah, you're right. <laughs> I, I, I don't want you to feel guilty, but I want you to understand is that, so what I'm trying to bring to the light and awareness is that you yourself have the ability to be anything you want at any given moment of the day. But are you aware you're making a conscious choice? Because you said, if you want to look at Jim Lopez, you have to put in the work. So inherently, you're making a conscious choice not to put in the work. So obviously, you don't want to look like her. But you want to look like her, but you want to put in the work. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> yeah. So now, so now, that confuses me then. So now it's like, do I, I want to look like that because... She looks good. And that's what okay. I see in social media. Mm -hmm. But wh which part of me is that? Do I really want to look like that or do I not want? Because then now I have that con I'm making that conscious choice, right? So is it just one of those when I see when I see her picture and she looks good and I said I, I want to look like that, but I can't make it happen. Or do I really not want to look like that? It's just, you know, just a moment that I was having. And then I'm okay with myself. I'm okay the way I am. So what do you really want? I think now that I think about it after seeing those, I'm okay with the way I am. I'm okay with what I do because I know I'm making it work. What works for me is working for me. But I think sometimes it's just moments that I have, you know? where I, I just, I don't feel good, then I don't want to do anything. But I've, for most of the time and most of my days, I feel great. I feel good because if I'm working out, working out makes me feel good. If I'm out there playing volleyball, that makes me feel good because I did some, I'm, I did some kind of workout still. Yeah. If I eat the food I want to eat, that makes me feel good. Right. Okay. Yeah. So you got all these things making playing volleyball, eating, all these things make you feel good. But looking like Jennifer Lopez doesn't make you feel good. Look, it definitely looks good right on paper, but yeah. it doesn't make you feel good. Now you're realizing you have a choice. And that's the whole point about these coaching calls is bring us awareness to where you are and know you have the ability to shift and that you are at the same time, you have a choice. So that's the whole prayer about this. You have a choice. So you made a choice. Well, I don't want to put in the work like my Jennifer Lopez, but actually I'm happy where I am. The food I eat, what I do with my life and my body, I'm happy. So what new insight have you gained from this coaching call? That I'm happy with who I am. And you're happy about who you are. Is that how you want to show up for the rest of your life, the rest of the day? Sure. Yes. Because what I'm doing is what works for me. And I made those choices to do those because that's what I want to do. Good. Yeah. Congratulate yourself on making that's that choice to doing the things you want to do every day. I'm doing what makes me happy. Well, I'm doing what I want to do. Yes, there. Yeah. Congratulate yourself on pat yourself on the back. You're making a choice. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. So you made a choice to be who you want to every day of your life because you have a choice. Thank you. Thank you. So thanks for joining the call, Glory. It was a pleasure looking at your self-esteem and self-confidence. I hope you learned something from this call. I should, I did. You just woke me <laughs> up right now with that. <laughs> I right, did. Thanks, Thank you for copying. Thank you.